Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to talk about dating and mental illness. But before we do that, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. So we're going to look at a video today of this lady. She complains about how hard it is to date being bipolar. And guys, never date a woman who has any type of mental illness. Don't do it. Depression, bipolar, OCD, just don't do it. Don't do it, guys. It's too much trouble and you aren't, you know... Captain save a you know what so just don't do it guys there's no men we are cost benefit analyzers we are risk versus reward so guys there is no amount of reward that's worth the risk of dating a woman who's mentally ill there's no amount of benefit that outweighs the cost of dating a woman who has mental illness especially bipolar so let's just jump into this video real fast I am beyond a hopeless romantic. I love love. And I think it is the most genuine, beautiful thing in the world. Typical woman. I started collecting vintage love letters about a year and a half ago. People put their true feelings into these letters and it's beautiful because you can feel their vulnerability and I need to get more of that. So that's where I look for that inspiration. So basically she has this unrealistic idea of what love and relationships are anyways. So not only is she mentally ill, but her expectations are all messed up too. Let's jump back into it. I am an individual that lives with bipolar disorder and I definitely every single day feel something. The average dating scene is pretty rough. Dating- Oh, and what is she on guys? Tinder, of course. So she's trolling these dating apps which shows guys you never know what's out there. This bipolar chick's on there swiping and of course she's swiping left but uh, swiping on dudes. Guys, be careful. You never know what's out there. They're on the dating apps. They're on all these crazy sites and they'll get you wrapped up in it. Don't do it, guys. It definitely gets more difficult when you have a mental illness like bipolar disorder. People. Big shock. People just have such a horrific image of what mental illness looks like. And they should. You're just always on edge when you're dating. You're petrified of judgment and rejection. You should be. Revealing your diagnosis when you're dating really depends on you and it definitely depends on the other person. I am not for revealing it right in the beginning. Of course she's not because she's a selfish, self-centered idiot. Think about how selfish that is. She's going to probably date a guy three or four dates. He's going to take her out, spend his money on her, maybe want to, you know, get to know her better. And then she's going to drop the bomb on him. That is the most selfish thing that you can do. And it's building a relationship, you know, of any kind on a lie. Not even, a, yeah, a lie of a mission. Guys, don't deal with these chicks at all. Don't do it. And that's not obviously because I'm ashamed. You feel obligated to walk in, hey, my name is Hannah, by the way, I have bipolar disorder, as if you committed a crime and you're on the run. You know, I just want to let you know I'm wanted for something. But do you see how she's making it all about herself, and not about the other person? And that's the thing that modern women do in dating is always, I think about it from their end and not the man's end. What about the guy? What about the guy who you would want to be with? What about his wants and needs? And yes, that matters straight from the jump. So if you're cool with that, I believe they have to get to know you as an individual. And when you feel comfortable, that's when you should reveal it. So basically, you basically lie uh, or you fool them. And then right when things are going well, you just slide that on in there. What a bunch of BS. In relationships, it's very difficult to trust. And I know you can't have a relationship. And you obviously can't trust you because you aren't honest. Relationship without trust, but you're handing over all of your weapons to someone and just hoping they're not gonna use those weapons against you. Isn't that, that funny coming from a woman? When you tell any woman that you're with anything like 
personal and then once you guys have like a fight or whatever they use that information against you to insult you you know that's kind of funny coming from a from a woman because they know all they have to do to say to someone is it didn't work out you know she's got bipolar disorder and most of the time that person's gonna go oh wow thank god you got out of that so basically she cares about what a person that may have broken up with her says to a bunch of people she doesn't know uh-huh makes perfect sense and there we go with the dating apps again. So far with dating, it's been a good mix. And the people that are curious about it, they want to know more information because they don't know about mental illness, which I'm happy. And they don't have to know. Happy to share with them. So I meet great people that are, are very accepting of it. I think it says something so powerful about an individual that embraces that fact. So definitely a lot, a lot of good experiences. The things that keep me entertained is creativity. I of course, because most crazy chicks are always into creativity. I love doing video projects. I love writing. And my family and friends, my family's number one always. That always keeps me going. I have an incredible group of friends. Even though I have bipolar disorder, we're all struggling when it comes to... But there's that whole, well, my struggles, your struggle, all struggles are the same garbage that these modern women play. It's not the same. Dating. So I think that we help each other out. I'm really focused on my career as a blogger. <laughs> She thinks that's a career, my career as a blogger. <laughs> in advocacy, the people I'm in touch with every day that reach out to me are so inspirational. I blog about mental health. The most popular topic is love and romance and dating with a mental illness. The reaction that I get is people- well, Guys, I, I can't even listen to this anymore. Let's just- Let's just cut that off here. But guys, just listen to the attitude. It's so hard for me to date and men need to blank because I, you know, I'm so, uh, you know, men need to understand my struggle. No, men don't need to understand a damn thing. Guys, do not date women who have any kind of mental illness. Don't do it because your life is going to be a living hell. And we live in this age now and now to where e it's bad enough that normal modern women, I don't want to say normal, but modern women in their right mind can accuse you of anything. So this mentally ill chick who's flipping out on, on you, being all crazy, you know, you're trying to calm her down, make her take her meds or whatever. And all someone walking down the street sees is some girl crying, screaming, yelling and trying to get away from a guy. Next thing you know, they call the cops. You got a nightstick up your butt. You guys, this is AJ. Stay safe. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here.